I'm going to give a, a very simple introduction to using iPerf on the command line, a, a network performance measurement tool. iPerf is, can be used to generate packets to be sent using either TCP or UDP uh, from one computer to another uh, and therefore and from that it measures the throughput and other performance metrics. So here I'll use it just to demo sending packets from my laptop to another computer on the same LAN which is connected um, to a switch so in fact my laptop's connected via a wireless LAN to the to the wireless router which is also a switch which is then connected direct to the other PC on the left with the black background is uh, what I'm doing on my computer and on the right in the white background I'm logged in to uh, the other computer, Saturn. So I'll run commands on both. So iPerf can act as either a client or a server, so we need both for the test to work. So on Saturn, on the other computer, I'll start iPerf. Uh, there are several different options available. You can read the man page to see them all and, and their descriptions. Here we'll start iPerf as a server. The minus S option to tell uh, to start as a server, and start that. And we see that the server says it's listening on a TCP port by default, 5001. So unless you specify, I, iPerf will use TCP as the transport protocol. And the window size used by the server is uh, the default by the operating system there, 85 kilobytes. And now if we go to my laptop, which is going to be the client, we'll start the iPerf test by <coughs> running in the client mode, where we need to specify the IP address of the server. So you need to know the IP address. I know that the IP address of the server in this case 192.168.1.14 and there are other options but let's just see with the, the basic test we start the test and it connects from the client to the server and it's now running the test by sending packets as fast as possible from the client to the server and by default it runs for 10 seconds so at the end of that 10 seconds, both the client and server reported the results of the, the test. So we saw that on my computer, on the left hand side, that I connected to the server. I used on my client the port 53828. It transferred over 10 seconds, uh, 17 megabytes of data, which averages to 14.2 megabits per second. In the server, we see the results, which are similar, but because there may be differences in timing, uh, then you see the interval is 10.2 seconds, and therefore the same amount of data transferred, but a, a slightly slower bandwidth, or throughput in this case, 14.0 megabits per second. So that's it. That's the basic uh, use of iPerf. Note on the, the satin on the server on the right hand side that iPerf is still running. So we can run another test from the client. Uh, by default it tests for 10 seconds. We can change that with the minus T option. And it starts another test, connects to the server and for 20 seconds sends as much data as possible. Uh, TCP, the transport protocol limits the, the throughput using its flow control, congestion control and error control mechanisms and at the end we see a, a throughput or a bandwidth of 18 megabits per second. So that's an example of using TCP so essentially iPerf is an application that generates the data uh, and sends it to the transport protocol as fast as possible and it's up to the transport protocol to deliver it to the destination. 
we can also run tests using UDP instead of TCP where we're not limited by the, the transport protocol mechanisms. That is, UDP just sends as fast as possible without uh, any error control, congestion control or flow control. So let's, on the server, on Saturn, on the right hand side, cancel the server and we'll start the server again but in UDP mode with the minus U option. So it's now listening on a UDP port. And on our client, on my laptop in the left hand side, we will run a test to the same destination using it's a client, the minus C option, and the minus U to tell it to use UDP. And with UDP, we need to specify the speed at which the application will send. With TCP we do not do that. The application simply delivers data to the transport protocol and TCP, the transport protocol, controls the speed. Here UDP does not uh, control the speed, it delivers as much as uh, it possibly can across the link or across the network. So we need to specify some sending rate of the UDP client using the minus B option for bandwidth and I'll set it at 2 megabytes per second 2 megabits per second, sorry, 2M and start the test it should run for 10 seconds by default and we see the results at both the, the client and the server so focusing on the server on the right hand side, uh, over that 10 second period there were 2.39 megabytes of data transferred which averages at a bandwidth or a throughput of 2 megabits per second, which is what we'd expect. Our UDP client sends at 2 megabits per second, we cannot get any higher than that and because our network capacity is sufficient we receive uh, at 2 megabits per second. With the UDP test, the server also reports uh, a jitter, the variance of, of the delay between packets and any packet loss. In this case, no packets were lost. One datagram arrived out of order. So that's it. With iPerf, we can do simple tests between a, a client and a server of the network performance, primarily the throughput, but also other factors like packet loss. With TCP, you simply specify um, the server that you want to connect to and you can specify the time as an option and it will send as much data as possible and report the throughput. With UDP, you need to also specify the sending rate at the client. By default, it would be one megabit per second. And we can stop the server.